You know the kind of look you give someone who comes late to a party? Cardano 88 experienced the same thing. Brimming with outstanding promises, Cardano walked in late to the crypto market. Despite its lateness, the crypto asset is embedded with an incredible projected growth, which instigated its early hype, in comparison to many other cryptocurrencies. Cardano's potential is still extremely high, and will get even higher in the coming years. Will it ever become untouchable, though? The bull market of 2017 began with the initial coin offering frenzy, which saw a large number of altcoins arrive on the market. While some of these coins gained popularity and generated huge returns for early investors, many collapsed completely or turned out to be outright scams. It is an open secret that Cardano Network is striving to survive its current challenges and limitations. If it continues to gain adoption, it will come out explosive and transform the entire crypto industry. Although it is vastly different, it is closely similar to Ethereum with its emphasis on smart contracts. However, it is proven to offer many advanced features over other blockchains. Cardano has positioned itself as an alternative to Ethereum since both have similar goals of building a connected and decentralized system. Their strategies of approach make them distinct. However, the founder of Crypto Capital Venture, who is also a crypto expert, once made a video about Cardano being Ethereum's biggest rival. He explored Cardano's market position and technological improvements. He also drew several comparisons with Ethereum, highlighting why he believes Cardano is a strong contender in the crypto world. Gambardello stated by emphasizing that Cardano remains a top 5 cryptocurrency, even amid market volatility. He noted that Cardano is ready to go for the next bull run, since it had maintained its market position despite bearish sentiment. He further argued that Cardano is not late to the party in terms of technological advancements. He cited the launch of the Alonzo smart contracts and the emergence of DeFi platforms like SundaySwap as evidence that Cardano is on a similar but potentially more advanced technological path compared to Ethereum. The crypto analyst believes that Cardano is a strong contender in the crypto industry for various reasons. While acknowledging that Cardano does have its flaws, he hammered on the fact that it was doing a great job in terms of security, decentralization, and scalability. Dan Gambardello and the Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson seem to be on the same page. Both of them value Cardano's chances of hitting the peak as a result of its technological upgrades. Hoskinson is willing to speak at length on any topic related to Cardano. With the ADA coin price heading in an undesirable direction, many investors are curious to know when an upward movement will occur. In a video, Hoskinson responded to a price-related question telling his followers that they should expect to become millionaires. However, this claim was not coming from a place of optimism. Charles Hoskinson is more interested in exploring the utility and future possibilities of Cardano, but many investors just want to skip straight to the bottom. Seeing various cryptocurrencies explode in price regularly, these investors have hoped that they'll see the same happen to 88 tokens they may hold. But this is impossible. Cardano is not running any race where it is expected to be the winner. All the same, the plans behind Cardano's development are quite ambitious. As teams of developers see it eventually fulfilling its dream of becoming a fully decentralized blockchain when voting and treasury management of a blockchain are added to its capabilities in the future. Cryptocurrencies can either have a fixed or limited supply as there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin. Also, Cardano has a maximum supply of 45 million ADA. Of course, the supply does not guarantee that the price will go up. But if Cardano takes off in popularity, then the limited supply could help increase demand. Like every cryptocurrency, Cardano is notorious for its peculiar risk. No one is sure it will succeed in its goals or it will even be worth anything in the future. Still, it is easy to see why Cardano has got every potential investor excited. Everyone is deeply interested in vouching for a network with astonishing qualities. Nonetheless, the crypto sector has survived severe drawbacks, doubts, and regrets from investors. And it's not a surprise, because there will always be a time when even the biggest crypto proponents will start to question whether they should depend on crypto or not, especially in the case of Cardano ADA. Crypto investors might even begin to look at their portfolios, and thoughts of selling are the first alternatives that settle in their mind. Looking at the stock market, there are over a hundred years of history to compare to. And with this, discoveries about previous market crashes and similarities from the past related to the current situation are made. This can go a long way in providing insight into what might happen in the future. Generally, crypto does not have such a long track record. Bitcoin was invented in 2009, and it was until 2017 that it started to garner attention in the mainstream media, and Cardano ADA is still relatively new by comparison. Over the years, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have gone through multiple boom and bust cycles. Bitcoin has rode a wave of popularity, accompanied by other coins such as Ethereum and Cardano. Patience does have a role to play here. Amid all the odds, the Cardano network has managed to stay afloat and maintain its stance, as it went through the Terra Luna crash, the FTX collapse, and the crash of crypto banks, and so on. 
The FTX crash could have hit hard and forced it to slip into oblivion, but luckily for the coin, a catastrophe for the crypto market turned out to be an immense advantage for Cardano. Before it happened, FTX was seriously considering listing ADA on the spot market, but statements from the exchange's head, Sam Bankman Freed, raise many conflicting responses. The threat that a listing of ADA on FTX could pose to Cardano was well explained by Ben Armstrong when he engaged in a discussion with Charles Hoskinson. According to many, Cardano ADA has become one of the biggest disappointments or failed projects when it comes to the blockchain industry. As one of the relatively early entrants to the scene, the platform has repeatedly failed to dazzle. However, claims of the coin reducing to zero could be wrong. Instead, it might shoot in price and become difficult to purchase in the coming years. Long term, you have to stomach it. You have to understand you will get volatility and some projects are not going to work, a crypto expert once noted. Moving forward, in a certain interview, Hoskinson played the devil's advocate by discussing Cardano's potential weakness that could lead the project to complete failure. On top of his list is self-evolution. He argued that the failure to achieve this could limit the platform's progression. According to him, without this, the system just won't work. He mentioned that another potential scenario failure would be for Cardano to evolve backwards. In other words, for the platform to eventually become a centralized network run by a small group of actors. These would be determined by who, how, and when any other person or entity can use the platform. It would be like China's social credit, Hoskinson said. Likewise, a drop in Cardano's network effect could lead the system to death. However, Hoskinson claimed this will not happen since the platform has an incredible adoption rate. There is a robust number of users that will never walk away from the project and are fanboys to the core, he said. Charles Hoskinson stated that the community must be open and flexible, resistant to dogmatic thinking, and capable of discarding wrong ideas. Otherwise, the project and the ecosystem could slow down and adopt a counterproductive position. According to him, this happened with Bitcoin when the community has become toxic and maximalist. Generally, it is quite common for investors and analysts to refer to Cardano as third-generation cryptocurrencies. Notably, the first generation of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin introduced the world to secure decentralized cash systems. Then, Ethereum entered the market with an overall focus on dApp development. This was the goal of the second-generation cryptocurrencies. Now, third-generation cryptocurrencies take the lessons learned from both Bitcoin and Ethereum concepts, improve upon their shortcomings, and block their loopholes. Third generation cryptos such as ADA utilize new developments such as layered architecture to improve scalability, security, and sustainability. This way they create more usefulness, address flaws, and rectify inefficiencies. And this is why Cardano matters. Simply put, Cardano is different from competitors in many ways. Where it is currently, it might not meet your expectations. But isn't that why Cardano emphasizes on the long term? Cardano is set to climb significant heights, but that won't happen overnight. You know, as they say, patience is a virtue. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.